Hi Scorpio! My name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So this reading is for the Sun Moon Rising sign of Scorpio. It is for the um, it is for the first half of October. It is a general reading, which means that the messages are going to resonate differently for each of you. So be sure to check out your Moon and Rising sign readings to get a complete picture of the energies around you. I am going to be pulling for your money, career, finance, as well as your love and relationships. And then I'm going to wrap up the reading with an Archangel Power Tarot card, a Romance Angel Oracle card, and we're going to do so, have some fun with the Angel Answer cards. Okay, so we're starting with your money, career, finance. And if you enjoy the reading, be sure to give it a like, a share, and make sure you subscribe to the, my channel. So we're starting with your money, career, finance, and the Three of Pentacles fell out earlier, and now we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, nice card, Scorpio. Okay, so it does look like in the first half of October you're going to be very busy multitasking. Perhaps you've got, like, you're juggling between that work-life balance here, or you could even be just juggling multiple projects. If you are juggling multiple projects, it does look like you're doing, like, your your job, um, plus doing something that's collaborative and working with other people. So, for example, at work, you could be finding that you are part of a team project. Um, whatever it is, though, it is working out really well for you um, because you have the Ten of Pentacles energy here. So whatever this is, it's really building upon your reputation in the workplace, um, how you are viewed by your peers. Um, and it's also something that's going to help to open doors for long-term success and um, like continued you know, offers and promotions and things like that down the road for you. I really don't feel like we need to clarify this. Um, yeah, but whatever it is you're doing, it does look like um, you are you are viewed at by your colleagues, your boss, um, in as an expert in whatever area it is that you're collaborating or working with others. So you could be working with people from different departments or even within your department. You could be a team leader on a project. Um, or you could even simply be being asked to train or help others or guide others or act as a mentor. So, or doing some kind of job shadowing um, and tutoring other people in the workforce here. Okay, so we're gonna go into your love relationships and romance, and you have the Magician, the Page of Cups, and Temperance. So it does look like, Scorpio, that there is some kind of offer that's coming into you or some, some information that's coming to you and being presented to you of an emotional nature. So this could be an offer of love. Uh, so if you're single and you're looking for someone, there could be something like that coming in. It could even be someone just extending um, that olive branch friendship re re reconciliating with someone because you do have temperance here which is indicating that balance so if things have been a little bit out of balance in your relationships so this can be romantic partners it can be family members friends co-workers and colleagues as well this balance is being restored because someone is is like you know offering something uh, could be even a peace offering this can even be you Scorpio because you are a water sign uh, so the cups is water this does represent your energy so this can be you that is negotiating um, between other people or be acting almost like a mediator and kind of bringing in balance to a relationship so whatever kind of relationship that is for you but you do have the magician here so it does look like um, it does look like you are You've, it does look like you've set some goals for yourself. I'm going to clarify this. But it does look like you've kind of, you're working your magic in this first two weeks of October. Uh, like this magician here. That, you, that There's something that you want to achieve or some kind of goal that you have in the area of your relationships. Again, this can be love. This can be family, friends. Um, could even be related to children um, or parents. Or could even be in your coworkers and colleagues. Even if, if you're a boss at work as well, this can be represent your relationships with the people that um, work for you or work underneath you that you manage. Uh, but it does look like um, whatever it is you're doing, you're creating something, you're creating an environment. So I want to see if we can get some clarity on that. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles. 
So it does look like you're in a very nurturing way. You are kind of you are creating stability, and again, that speaks to that temperance as well. You are creating stability in relationships. So for some of you, there could have been some instability in either a relationship in your life or in among people around you, and you could be the one here that's creating that balance and and, and bringing that balance back into the relationships here. So I'm now going to pull an Archangel Power Tarot card for any final advice, um, messages from spirit, the angels, ancestors. And let's see what we have for you. So your Archangel Power Tarot card is the King of Michael. So this is really about you being principled, rational, and spirit wants you to know that you are respected. You are ambitious, but you are very respected in the area of your in all areas of your life actually so it's and it's your wisdom and objectivity that are important it's important for you to bring that into your life right now and and to tap into those skills of yours and to stay in your integrity there's a situation that's going to call call for open and honest communication and I really feel like this is actually more related to the relationships down here because it does look like you're playing mediator or you are kind of bringing balance back to something here with that. So Spirit just wants you to know, stay in your integrity and encourage that open and honest communication, not just among your, with yourself, but with those around you as well. Because people will look up to you and look up to you for guidance here, Scorpio. So now I'm going to pull an, a Romance Angel Oracle card for you and we have free yourself so it's time for you to take back control in your life. So if there's some area in your life that feels out of balance, again, it is time for you to take back that control and this could be why you are being that um, mediator here or trying to restore balance in some area of your life that's related to relationships. So here comes something fun, Scorpio. We are going to pull an Angel Answer card or I'm going to pull an Angel Answer card. So I want you to think of a question that's relevant to you for the first two weeks of October. And something simple that only requires a simple answer, like a yes, no answer. So you think about that while I am shuffling. Okay, you have your question. So your angel answers card is ask your angels. Okay, so that inner reflection, Scorpio, trusting your intuition, because that's often how angels will speak to you, is through your intuition, through your dreams. You are a very um, intuitive and psychic sign, Scorpio. So ask your answers, but ask your angels before you go to bed um, for the answer, and you might find that it comes to you in a dream. So Scorpio, this concludes your reading for the first half of October. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on that notification bell so you're notified when those mid-months readings come out. Thank you for watching, stay safe and take care.